What was that? Okay, the stream is ready to begin. Everything's normal. Where is everybody? My wiggles, I don't know what you're talking about. We gotta say hello to everybody. While I'm being cute. Where's my cute face? That's not my cute face. Kawaii. Yay. Hello, uh, Capivara, John, Jan, uh, Mad Dude, Bruce, uh, Pendiguin, uh, TJ Tharp, uh, Biggest Hardest, uh, Atomic Thomas, Kamui Cadet, uh, Super Spike, Robin the Bobbin, uh, Janik, The Gentleman, John Turner, Liam Gormley. That's not a real name, that's the name of a character in a book. Kappa, Tom, KG, V, my favorite Devil May Cry character, uh, Josh. Dudes, remember. The Alamo? Kudos, kudos. I love AO3. Words cost nothing but can mean everything. Okay. This word is five dollars, so you're wrong. <laughs> A willy. Say how to n Okay, okay, li okay, no, 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 no. I d <laughs> I didn't do this live stream just for an excuse to talk about what's going on in OnStars, but Jesus Christ, that came out of nowhere. Hello, Lazy VA. Hello, Sunkutsu's ASMR. Hello, Mad Dude. Watching the eclipse was way cooler than I thought it would be. I wish it wasn't as cloudy as it was, though. Oh, yeah. We got super lucky. The clouds, like, parted just in time. You're playing Monster Hunter? That's allowed. We'll allow it. Low Infinity Squared. Low Llama Lord. Llama. Okay, no, no, no. What's happening in OnStars? At least in the Japanese version, so we're not going to see this for like two more years in the English server. They're introducing a new unit, which they haven't done in like four years. And it's a new five-person unit, and they've only introduced, I guess, the leader so far. They don't, they, I don't think they've revealed the unit's name, but they've got a new production company and everything. So that probably means there's going to be more units to come from that, from that company, which is very interesting. Uh, but the new guy, he's got two-toned hair. Which is just like, it's mostly kind of purplish, but there's like a chunk of blue at the front. And his name is Nice Arnab Thunder. That's his full name. Nice Arnab Thunder. And like, I don't think any other characters in the entirety of OnStars have a name like that. That's that weird. You've got Himeru, which is like a stage name. And just, like, the one name. That's... His whole name is Himeru, with the weird lettering. But why is his name nice? Why is it all that? Why is it Nice Arnab Thunder? I know it's probably got some deeper meaning, or it's, like, a made-up name that he's, like, it's an alias or something. But... What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> You're seeing a satellite image of the cloud cover and it covered most of the area of totality. Oh, that's that sucks. Does he speak English? No, in his uh, introduction video he was speaking Japanese. I don't know what he said because it wasn't subtitled. That shit's not coming to us in, in English for another two years, but uh... On his outfit, his big colorful unicorn vomit suit that he's wearing, he's got like... I think the word nice like just printed on the jacket and like a big lapel pin that says nice. I thought nice was the name of the unit. Like maybe Arnab Thunder is his name and nice is just the name of the unit and we're all getting confused because, you know, fine is the name of a unit. There could be a unit called nice, but no, it's the name of a guy. <laughs> He was born June 9th and his parents knew what they had to do. <laughs> so, like, if that's the case, he's... He's either making that shit up or he's... He pronounces it niece? No. I actually have no idea. I wasn't paying attention. 
He's not a guy, he's a man, a Tumblr sexy man. Oh yeah, because people have been saying, like, his name is connected to, like, a star that doesn't shine as brightly anymore. Like, a real life star in the sky. So people are theorizing he might be in, like, his late 20s or his 30s, and I'm like, no. Probably not. <laughs> but then again, like... OnStars has been a thing for almost 10 years now. It stands to reason that the fandom is, like, kind of aging. <laughs> Betty looks fine. Eh. Trolling, I'm barely keeping up with the conversation. Yeah. No, you know what? I can... I'll just, I'll just pull up a fucking picture of, of him. <laughs> I'll find him. <laughs> It's not like there are any other anime characters called Nice Arnab Thunder. It's not like looking up the first name of whatever anime boy, you find like a million different results. No, this is this is pretty unique. Don't have to worry about anything. If you eat food, you will stop being hungry. Incorrect. That's not true. Age of 30 is in demand. Yeah. Yo, Ambiguous, what's up? I saw that elf serial killer video you did. Like, legit? Tingles. Like, spine tingling. Very dramatic. I didn't get a chance to comment, though, yet. I was just like, legit? I was like, wow. Like, I am falling in love with this character, but she's also gonna murder me. Just... Actually, like, the atmosphere, like, your voice acting, legit. I was like, wow. Wow. Like, three minutes later, you're cute now? We're all cute. Check this shit out. Yeah. You can't see it, but I was doing the double P sign, because that's adorable. I was doing it under the camera. <laughs> anyway, let's look. A nice Arnab Thunder. This is... <laughs> You gotta fucking see this guy. <laughs> the new, the new guy. I'll just save that. Oh, wait. Is that a fucking web P? Ugh. The worst. Why is it always in web P's? Stop. Terrible. The internet hates me. I gotta show you guys a nice Arnab Thunder. Real quick with Easy Gift. Now, there was a different one. I just wanted one that was, like, not as wide, but it's fine. Where are you? Okay. I'm gonna find you, nice. There he is. <laughs> See, look at him! <laughs> I'll try, I'll try to crab him a bit. Jesus. It's such a wide image. <laughs> Look at him, this fucking- this unicorn vomit suit that he's wearing. I really thought that Nice must be the name of the unit, because why would he have his name, like, with the exclamation mark on his uniform? Is that really his name? Or are we just, like, misinterpreting the Japanese? I- <laughs> Looks like a sunset, but painted badly. Look at his hair. I, do, I don't think any other character in OnStars has their hair like that, except uh, maybe Sora from Switch, but even then, it's just like a little stripe of green. Or a Tatera, but again, it's just little stripes. It's not an entire friggin' chunk. Who Whose idea was that? This guy looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh character. It's really quite, quite ostentatious. <laughs> Looks like he wants to sell you twice used cars. <laughs> I mean... I'm not gonna say what were they thinking, because obviously, new guy, they want to make an impact with him, but... Why does he... Why does he have his name on his jacket? It's like, it's such a weird look. <laughs> I'm putting him away. Go away, nice. I'm building a shrine to this man right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gotcha game obligations. They're having the uh, Devil's Day anniversary event in Obami, and the gotcha drops, the drop rates have been fucking shit. I've only gotten three 
of the anniversary cards. Garbage. Fucking garbage. Two from a car dealership at Circus Theme. Well, we don't know anything about him yet. Maybe... I mean, he's either going by a fake name or he's like a foreigner because, you know, foreigners in Japanese media always have fucking insane names. Figure design is more is better than that. They have more sensical color schemes. I don't know. I haven't paid attention since like the first Yu-Gi-Oh. This is they're still making the abridged series, and by they I mean one guy. That's, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge has been going on for so long that it, like, used to be problematic. <laughs> Hello, Gavin Strafacci. It's a cute male VTuber I watch called Machina X Flayon. That's too long of a name. Thank you, Jacob Weaver, for the $2. Still tax season until after tomorrow. Fuck me, they still haven't sent me it back. I sent my forms out to the people that handled my taxes for me and they haven't messaged me back. What do I owe? I probably owe a lot, but less than last year. Not because I earned less, but because I get a tax break now. Hello, Zachinator. Looks like a door-to-door -door salesman went to his first pride parade. He is the first canonically gay OnStars character. No, he's not. That's not true. The first canonically gay OnStars character is the first OnStars character. So I guess Subaru? I don't know who was shown off first. I wasn't there at the beginning. I didn't play the original game. It was fucking boring. Also, it's never been released in English. Like, the whole selling point of the first game is that it would be fun to play for p people who don't play video games and they're bad at them. <laughs> So, it didn't really have gameplay. It was just a, a raising idol sim. That was more about your tax break. You don't need to know. That's private information. Who are we talking about? Oh, sorry. You didn't see. It's this guy. His name is Nice Arnab Thunder. I'm not making that up. That's real. Is, we had that one candy stream from a while ago. I don't know. Like, I feel like... I feel like trying to make my weird candy purchases for live streams and such a tax deductible would just be grasping at straws. I know uh, there's this uh, streamer that I follow on Tumblr. She, uh, she includes her video game purchases, like her big ones, like the $60 ones, from a... Uh, for in uh in her taxes like as a, whatever you include stuff on your taxes and oh there's a notification at work anyway Still tax season until after tomorrow uh yeah she includes she reports the big video game purchases on her taxes because i guess that gets money off i don't know because it it is technically her job she's a streamer so i don't know if that helps but i'm not gonna bother too complicated I was just like the background for the caramel dance and music video. Yeah. I mean, really, I would love that color scheme as like a motion background for me. Might be a bit of an eyesore, though. I think there's a bit of a delay. Oh, maybe. We haven't dropped any frames, though. I'm... I made sure to be on uh, the Ethernet cable. So there shouldn't be any slowdowns. But uh, let's... Let's put it to the test. Marco. I've seen Thaf9 do that before. It's it's a pretty good pretty good indicator. Okay, that was like six seconds. Like whatever. That was nothing. That's pretty normal. I mean, at least for me. That's about as fast as YouTube can go, to be fair. It's not as instant as Twitch is. There are limits. Flaming Hot Cheetos was an Asian male. We don't know if he's Asian. I mean, everybody in anime looks like they're the same race unless their skin is colored different, because, you know, that's the style. But his name is Nice Arnab Thunder. There's every chance that he could be from, like, I don't know, Germany or France or something. 
maybe that's how he shows up. He he meets Shu in France, and he's like, yeah, my name's Nice Arnab Thunder, and he's like, you'd be a good idol. <laughs> I mean, for the YouTube notification thing. Oh, that's been forever. That's a Streamlabs issue. They do not work as fast on YouTube notifications. At least lately. I don't know what the problem is, but they've been fucking with me for a while. I might have to remake my account. Classic German name, Thunder. I don't know, man. They're just making shit up as they go. He kind of looks Irish. Yeah, maybe. Thunder from Down Under. Oh, he could be Australian. I, I don't even think I can name a single Australian anime character. It's a character named Shu. It's spelled S-H-U, okay? It's a Japanese name. Shu Itsuki. That's his name. I think. I don't remember. It's, there's 50 fucking characters in this series. I cannot remember all their names. One of the VAs went to jail. I don't know. I think there was one from a sports anime. Well, of course. Was it like a surfer anime? Nice is from Iceland. Well, I've certainly never heard of an Icelandic anime character. Actually, you know what? That's kind of a lie. Because Hitalia exists, there is by default an anime character from every nation. They solve the problem. What the hell did the VA do? Uh, he impersonated a cop and scammed a guy out of like a million yen. So uh, he went to jail. He was also the guy that, uh, he voiced a character in, uh, what's that show with, a uh, fucking Vash the Sampede. I think he voiced that guy's brother or something. I don't know. But anyway, like, I was watching the uh, live concert the other day where... They just had the VAs just perform on the stage, but, like, in cosplay. And he was there, and I was like, he's, he's like, mugging to the camera. He's very clearly, like, one of the more popular guys in the unit he's in. And I'm just, I'm looking at him, like, pointing at the camera, being all cheesy, doing salutes and stuff. And I'm like, me when I'm not going to be in jail in five years. <laughs> I've never seen a Swedish anime character. Lots of the characters from Vinland Saga. Right, I forgot about Vinland Saga. And of course, we all know that there's like a million British anime characters because Black Butler just came back. I haven't seen the new episode because I would prefer to watch the dub. Just, you know, <laughs> it's really not the same if you can't hear Sebastian say, I'm simply one hell of a butler in English, so... <laughs> I hope they get the same VA back. I really do. <laughs> it's amazing how much of, how much of the uh, animated content of Black Butler is not canon to the manga. It's like almost most of it. <laughs> Has to be a Swedish character. Oh yeah. Um, I think. I think, uh, well, I, don't, I don't remember her name. That white-haired chick in Food Wars. She's from Sweden, I think. What was what? What do you mean? One million yen is a little over... No, it isn't. That's not true. The yen hasn't fallen that far. 6,000. A million yen is at least... I think you missed a zero. Matsuoka Rin from the anime Free Dive to the Future. Wait, Rin? Is that the red-haired boy with the shark ears? Uh, not shark ears, shark teeth. I thought he was Japanese, but like he left and went to Australia and then he came back. Of course, I'm just basing this off of like uh, the 50% off a bridge series. Have I read House of Leaves? No, but I know all the memes. 
models far more animated than I remember. I think I upped the uh, movement ability, so I can move back and forth now. Million yen is kind of close to 10,000. Really? I mean, that's still a lot of money to steal from someone. Yeah, shark ears. I don't think I can do anything with that. A yen is like a penny to start with. Damn, I'm bad at math. I figured a million yen was like way more than that. I'm, I'm super bad at math. Now I'm trying to remember who it was. What the fuck his name is. I don't remember his name. I just know the voice of Mitsuru Tenma in Rabbits, and now he doesn't anymore. <laughs> and the new guy isn't as good. I'm sorry to say it. Like, uh, I don't... I think his name's Kobayashi or something. He's... He sounds the same when he's talking, like almost identical. You can't tell the difference. When he's singing, it's super obvious and he's not as cute and definitely not as good of a singer. It's so sad. Jim from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, he's Australian. Oh my God. I gotta look up this guy's name. Mitsuru Tenma. Who voiced him? Who voiced him? Actors. Oh, there it was. It was Junya Ikeda. I always forget that guy's name. Junya Ikeda. Jim Crocodile Cook. What even? <laughs> Okay, well, he does have a Wikipedia page. Yeah, he was Million Knives in a Trigun Stampede. Huh. Okay, okay, here's the full story from Wikipedia, which, you know, is like... I don't know, probably a little bit biased, but whatever. This is the basic facts of the situation with Junya Ikeda former voice of a Million Knives and Mitsuru Temma, R.I.P. Mitsuru fans. On October 30th, 2023, Baru, Ikeda's talent agency, announced that they had canceled their contract with Ikeda after he was arrested on October 26th. The arrest stemmed from an incident on September 26, 2023, where Ikeda had allegedly impersonated a police officer and falsely claimed and falsely claimed to a man in his 60s to give him his three cash cards to investigate an unauthorized withdrawal from his bank account. So he did the classic like, "Hey man, uh, we we saw something weird with your bank account. Give me your uh, numbers and shit, and I'll I'll figure it out for you, right?" Uh, yeah. On November 15th, 2023, Ikeda was arrested again after it was found that he had reportedly withdrawn 1.5 million yen from the victim's bank accounts. As a result of his arrest, his voice was removed from the Kingdoms of Ruin, I don't know what that is, and Ensemble Stars. So, 1.5 million yen. Which, uh, which is more. That's still a lot. What is Kingdoms of Ruin? Okay, that's an anime. Oh, okay. Well, I, that ran from October 7th to December 23rd. How did they remove it, like, mid-series? Whatever. I'm looking it up. What's, uh... 1.5 million yen to USD. Wow. That's less than 10 grand. I mean, that's a lot of money. But not an amount of money worth tanking your career over. Also, God, the yen, like, yen has fallen, like, way further than I thought it ever could. Like, that's amazingly, like, that's brutal. Yeah. It's dropped like crazy over the past five years. What's going on in Japan? But yeah, geez. 
Woof. Bushido has fallen. <laughs> Japan has an inflation crisis. Yeah, I'll say. Jeez. Might have to up my prices to 700 yen if this keeps up. Jesus. I still haven't gotten that first payment yet, so I have no idea if this is going to clear with PayPal. Oh, yeah. I should. I can run my advertisements. You can't stop me. This is like, I don't run ads in the middle of the live streams typically for other people, but I can run them for myself. There you go. I mean, as we all know, like, the yen is like fantastically weak right now, so maybe get in while you still can. Anyway. It's just the exchange rate, man. Well, either way. Thought they dropped you. PayPal? Not yet. Gumroad dropped me because of PayPal and Stripe. Even though, like, post-ban, like, my archived uh, audios were still getting sales. I don't know how people were finding them, but I had to, like, archive them completely to get them off the store page. But, uh, yeah. It's like... They say that, like, the payment from Booth comes within five days of the 20th of every month, which I guess is standard, and that hasn't dropped yet, so I still don't know if uh, PayPal's gonna kick my ass off the platform forever. You never know. Have you seen the Fallout show? I've seen GIFs. I know that doesn't mean much. Hello, Anonymous Anonymous. We're, we're discussing things. We're discussing the state of the world and apparent Japanese inflation crisis. What you could do is if you have a link, you can find the video or audio again, even if it's not being shown. Right, but now they're just like archived completely. So like you can't buy any more of them. I've removed that ability. Do I like KFC? Oh, do they still sell the bowls? I have a be real with me. Do they still sell the the bowls? The bowls that like it's layered and like one layer is potatoes and there's corn and there's like chicken with stuff on it at the top. Is that a Cecil thing? Because if so, yes. Other than that, I don't get KFC unless like. Oddly enough, whenever my family has a get together, probably at like the old folks' home, um, we would just order KFC because it's easy to share. I mean bucket no it's a bowl you know i'm looking it up i'm looking it up i'm looking it up kfc bowl kfc bowl maybe it was a canada exclusive item copycat kfc bowls what 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 is in the kfc bowl what the where is it did they not sell it anymore They don't sell it anymore. What the heck is smashed potato bowls? Oh my god, they don't have the bowls anymore. Maybe it's the famous bowl? What? What the hell? It's not- all I can find is copycat recipes. I guess I'll just say what's in the copycat recipe. That's really sad. They don't sell it anymore. Colonel Sanders himself describes the KFC Famous Bowl as creamy mashed... Well, he didn't describe that. He's dead. Creamy mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and chicken nuggets layered together, then drizzled with homestyle gravy and topped with a perfect blend of three shredded cheeses. They were chicken nuggets. It was popcorn chicken, you fucking liar. I know what I'm talking about. You never even ate one of these. They changed their name from being an acronym to just the name, so it's not Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's just KFC. Well, that's not true, because in Quebec, it's PFK. Let's see what's in it. Chicken. 
But it's not chicken nuggets. It was popcorn chicken. That's a different thing. Popcorn chicken and chicken nuggets are two completely different things. And they totally taste different. It's completely fucking different. Hi, Golden. Okay, I gotta understand this. Like, uh, what is it? KFC gives the gift of $5 Famous Bowls and limited edition holiday buckets. That's from 2022. Oh, I'm so mad. They don't have bowls anymore. Was a popcorn chicken? It's like fried chicken, but like small. And there's no bones in it. They don't have popcorn chicken at KFC anymore? What? What? They have them for like 10 years. Okay, well, to be fair, I don't really go to KFC, but like, popcorn chicken was the goat, man. And it, you could dip it in honey and it was awesome. Ah. And now there's definitely nowhere else you can get popcorn chicken in Canada. Well, maybe Popeyes. I don't know if we have a Popeyes. KFC does chicken nuggets. Uh, they, I guess they do that instead of popcorn chicken. Garbage. That's so cool. I thank you, TJ Tharp, for being a real faker for 22 months. What's the coolest thing that a guy can be? Yeah, we full. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just too loaded of a question. They would sell a bucket that came with 70 pieces of popcorn chicken for $10. Oh, that's a fucking steal. But now I gotta look up their menu and see what they actually have. They'll give me like a, a list of the local place and they'll be like, Here, this, here's the thing that you can get. Favorites? Crispy onion ring sandwich box. I, I can see in the picture that there's popcorn chicken. I can see that. Those little, those little fried balls of whatever, those are... That's fucking popcorn chicken, brother. I know what I'm looking at. I know what popcorn chicken looks like. <sighs> I'm so mad. <laughs> Literally so fucking mad right now. Okay, the crispy onion ring sandwich. Honestly, an onion ring sandwich might convince me to go there. This is not sponsored by KFC, just so you know. Wow, oh, yeah. Crispy onion ring twist. Onion rings. Okay. Did KFC just start selling onion rings and they're going crazy about it now? Because why are they putting onion rings into a wrap? What's going on? And then they just have the onion rings by themselves and there's a, a buckets of chicken, lots of chicken and coleslaw, which nobody likes. I'm declaring that now, nobody likes coleslaw. Raw chicken and weak old green beans. They last that long. Yeah, they put it in a wrap, like with a tortilla. And that's not even at the combination KFC and Taco Bell. Which I have been to. They're charming. They're just straight up charming. Also, Taco Bell stopped selling plain bean burritos. And now they're just bean burritos with like spicy queso. And I'm... Literally, the only thing I ever ordered there is off the menu. Kill me. You all like coleslaw? No, you don't. <laughs> and they've got uh, chicken tenders with a gravy, and then there's one with corn. And then there's the boneless bucket. A boneless bucket? What's in the boneless bucket? The mic is like all the way over here. They closed all the Taco Bells in Quebec. Deserved. Because they got rid of the bean burrito. So almost everyone I watch complains about that bean burrito. Really? So I'm not the only one suffering? It was perfectly fine before. It had whatever random Taco Bell sauce in it. But the rest was all bean. Now they put like rice and shit in it. 
And the spicy, it wasn't spicy before. I don't like spicy food. I can't eat it. And then it was... The, I ordered a bean burrito thinking that I was going to get a real bean burrito, but it's fucking beans and rice and spicy queso and it's just, uh, fuck off. So mad. I was giving myself a treat when I went out and I was like, oh, I'm going to get Taco Bell because I've had a busy day and I'm tired, but it was fucking terrible. And like those, those burritos weren't even that good to begin with. Okay. Sometimes... The people there would make them shittily and they would go all over the place. But, like, at least it was just beans. Mm. My beloved refried beans that I love and adore forever. Ugh. And they stopped selling no-name bean burritos at No Frills and I want to die. Stop being Sundere to the burritos. I'm not being Sundere. I love the burritos. I wish they still existed. Sorry, I'm just really mad. I have a lot of, like, built-up rage. This is my life. Anyway, what's in the boneless bucket? Eight tenders. And a large popcorn chicken. So everybody who's saying they don't sell popcorn chicken at KFC anymore is a liar. Spicy food is better than normal food. Man, I can't fucking eat it. I'm sure, listen, everybody's like, it's not about the spiciness, it's about the flavor, right? And spiciness is just part of it. I don't like the taste of it. The dip is sweet and smoky barbecue. And southern plum. Fuck that, they used to have honey. They you. They used to have honey for the dipping sauce for popcorn chicken, and it was fucking tasty. Dip that chicken in honey. I'm still looking at this. Individual popcorn chicken or a large popcorn chicken. They sell that popcorn chicken in buckets. It's there. Liars. You're lying to me. You're telling me lies and falsehoods. And then big crunch and zinger meals and uh, the big crunch sandwiches and the, the, the famous chicken sandwiches and, and, and you know, why do they call the wraps twisters? That's very silly. The two piece chicken combo, which is silly. I'm still looking. Snacks. Oh, the go bucket with popcorn chicken and fries. That sounds tasty, but terrible for you. It's like the double down. See, so yeah, that sounds pretty great. It was. Like, um, listen, this is not like some crazy food combination that I came up with. When I was a kid, uh, we would go to KFC, I'd get the popcorn chicken, and it came with a thing of honey. You're supposed to dip it in honey. It's real. It's true and it's real. I'm not lying to you. I don't make things up, except when I do. Oh, they sell poutine there. <gasps> popcorn poutine. Poutine with popcorn chicken. If I liked poutine, I'd be so happy right now. But I don't, because I don't like curds or gravy. I'm kind of a freak that way. Okay, and for the sides, they sell fries. They sell just gravy. They sell the coleslaw. They sell macaroni salad. They sell the corn. They sell honey mustard, southern plum. No honey. Just honey mustard, which is a lie. Incorrect. Not real. Aren't I Canadian? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm a freak of nature. I don't really care for hockey either. And their drinks are Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, 7-Up, Brisk, Aquafina, and that's it? That's it? They don't even have Orange Crush? What are we doing? They don't even have root beer. Taco Bell has root beer. I know they do. They always have root beer. You have the gravy and curds from the popcorn poutine. You get popcorn fries. Yeah, you can just buy those. They're on the menu. How about the Newton Leibniz, Leibniz theory? theorem? Man, you know I don't know smart shit like that. They've got uh, s'mores brownies. 
And our limited time offers is a giant family bucket. Exclusive online deals. It's the popcorn chicken bucket again. I guess I would want that, but I'm not going to order it. I am trying to lose weight. Like, I'm looking at all this fast food, but, like, I gotta lose weight, like, really fucking fast. I'll be real with y'all. I gained weight over the winter, and I'm super unhappy about it. That's the dangerous art of eating two Popeye's biscuits with no drink. That just sounds unfun. That's <laughs> why I have a 66.6% .6 chance of winning at SummerSlam. But then you throw Kurt Angle in the mix. I don't even know that guy's name. It's just Kurt something, right? I have no idea. Oh, my work tickets are full in, a, in Ensemble Stars. It's the Acanth event, and I'm not going for the five-star card, because, well, they're cowards again, and they should have just put them in dresses. Kurt Angle, okay. I don't know, wrestling. Yeah, I can't. The The video is super artsy and beautiful. Like, I was, like, playing through it, and I was like, whoa, where he's, like, sleeping under those flowers, and I was like, whoa. Still not going for the outfit, though. I already have a very nice Mika outfit. It's called the Link Click outfit, and it is also limited. So you're never gonna see that again. You're gonna show us scantily dressed cat boys again? He was a hyena, first of all. Oh, hold up, I got a phone call from Mao. Mao Isara, the character that everybody cares about. Everybody's favorite character in Ensemble Stars. Do I watch UFC? I don't watch sports, I don't have cable. Talk about this game so often that I'm tempted to finally play it. I mean, we are in the middle of a limited event, so... You might be interested in the Nazana outfit with the, uh, with the bunny ear hoodie and, like, the, the, like, gemstone encrustments. Of course, there is also the Himera outfit, which I am still, like, grinding to get. I want that Himera outfit so bad. And I'm fucking terrified to learn who's gonna be the limited card in part two. I'm terrified. Like, Nazana's one thing. If I don't get him, I don't care. But who's going to be the next one? If it's... I swear to God, if it's Mika, I'm going to lose it. It probably would be Mika, because they like to combine the canon events with limited events, like, back-to-back, -back, so, like, they force you into paying money. They've done that at least twice. They did it with uh, Chiaki and... I think Mayui. I got a call from Mao. No, he's just, I mean, he is he is a student council president, but that's it. What are we talking about? Gotcha. Okay, yeah, what's he saying? May I have a moment of your time? Well, I'll introduce my favorite manga in the upcoming magazine interview, right? So I'm calling to confirm how many mangas I'm allowed to recommend. You know, there are just too many mangas I love. <laughs> this fucking loser. <laughs> this boy reads manga. Ugh. I was like, that's the most interesting thing about him, I guess. I literally know nothing about him besides that. <laughs> and I didn't even know that until five seconds ago. Be nice to him. Is he your fave? Is he your bias? That's what they call it, right? A bias? Or Oshi? Or something? You a, you a Mao-P? It's strange how the letter P has taken up such a presence in my life, both in OnStars and in Lies of P. I was considering bringing back the Bone Baron today, but I realized I just didn't have it in me. Yoroshi is still Mika. Oh, are you going for are you going for the five star and a can't then? Good luck. I mean, honestly, grinding for if you're doing it like over the course of the week, just spending like a balanced amount of diamonds every day. It's not too brutal to grind for, but, like, God. If you're trying to go Bagacha, oh, Nazana, right? Um, if you're trying to go for two copies of the five-star card, like I did with Airship Mayui, 
Um, my God, the grinding. Even uh, you're spending so many diamonds all at once. You're doing like 10 BP playthroughs, spending 200 diamonds, like mm -hmm. as much as you possibly can. It still takes forever. Oh my God, it takes forever. Like, it gets to a certain point where you're just like, wow. There's got to be a way that they could make this easier, but they haven't. It's Kamiyoshi. I'm sorry, I don't know idol culture. I just play ensemble stars. The gotcha is ensemble stars. And they're introducing a new unit. This guy's the front man. Once again, his name is Nice Arnab Thunder. And I'm not making that up. I'm just gonna keep him over here. <laughs> like, I'm not deleting that source. Anytime I need him, it's just like, Yo, Nice, how's it going? Bro is mad colorful. I don't know what his problem is. Make him low opacity. How do I do that? <laughs> uh, blending mode. Nah, how do I, how do I do that? I guess that's a filter. Chroma key? I don't think it's chroma key. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it is chroma key. There you go. There you go, man. <laughs> I really wish it was simpler. I wish, like, opacity was just, like, a default setting you could do. Tie-dye train wreck. He tie-dyed a suit jacket. Like a specter. <laughs> Maybe he is British. You know, like, that movie? That movie with James Bond? With Dame Donned. Whatever happened to that guy? Did he die? Going to a cat's birthday party? Why does everybody in my chat have such more interesting lives than me? I was in the big city yesterday. I saw trains. I saw train cars. Oh, thank you, John Novick. I hope you have a fun time at the at the cat's birthday party. I hope that cat's birthday party is the cat's pajamas. <laughs> I'm the funniest motherfucker on YouTube. I am the lame as Rob of ASMR. <laughs> and James Bond is dead. Right, and now they can get Idris Elba to play him. No, they won't. He's too old. Thank you. It would get instantly demonetized if I talked about that. What? Is your interesting life like you constantly going to orgies and shit? Like, what are we talking about? Are you like an assassin? The lame is a ro Oh, 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 you got me. You fucking got me. Bro, I just got God. Can you fucking believe how hard I just got God, guys? Can you turn up the opacity? Oh yeah, sure. If I could just figure out how to do that again. There he is. Hey, nice, how's it going? Good to hear. It's normal. Very normal. I like you too much to do that. Okay, man. Hero of Hyrule, my life be boring. Turn down my opacity? Ugh. Oh. Me and my friends have a code word for when we do need to hide a body. Okay, but have you ever used it, or is that just like a silly nerd shit thing you came up with? 
Like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to belittle your, uh, your, your incredible plans to hide a body, but, like... Sounds like some shit I would do with my friends as a teenager. <laughs> yeah, a little bit chuny, honestly. Uh, not, not hating, but, you know. Have to wake up early tomorrow? Oh, R.I.P. Kamui Cadet, because you have to you have to wake up early. That sucks. You couldn't get any naz today? Hold on. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, no, it wasn't cute enough. As punishment for my crimes. Uh, I have to disappear. No. Oh, it's okay. I'm a ghost now. Hooray. I'm so cute and I'm made of stars. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. I this can't do anything with Jupiter and Mars. I don't see them anywhere. Let me be clear. <laughs> I have returned to, to Stardust. The only way either of us may return to dust is to have it gouged out of us. The sickness in our hearts. I have not stopped watching Helsing Ultimate, like, ever. <laughs> I've still got that shit on lock. I could probably recite it word for word. A force goes. Hey, uh, it's finally finished downloading. I was trying to find new backgrounds to use that might suit me better. I'm gonna see if I can switch it to that. I just, I just download. It. I want to see if it works. Where did it end up? Oh, there it is. Let's see if it works. Uh. Ooh. That is purple. That is a purpley purple. <laughs> this is this is a little bit extreme. <laughs> we get more interesting streams where we see you butchering a bear. What is that a what is that a reference to? Hold on. I need to make myself whole again. I'm back. Yeah, no, it is too purple. Plus the hair, it's just too purple to work with. I should make the background teal, an eye-gouging teal that everybody hates. You're turning up your yellow color filter? Yeah, I guess if, oh shit, that was kind of bright. I guess if you are watching these streams to chillax, it is too purple of a purple and you will get uh, pain. I would like the background to be teal though. It looks gray in comparison. Oh fuck, you're right. I don't like that. Oh fuck it, that sucks. We gotta pick a different space. Help. Help. Oh, what about beams? Why do I still have beams.mp4? What's the beams looking like? What are we doing with beams? I feel like he fits a lot better in with a beam background than that weird smoke thing they gave him. What do you think, nice? You're right, too generic. No, not beans, beams. <sighs> wow, there's my moon and stars dot gif. Where's the, oh, we could put back the eclipse on. Oh no, the eclipse is too small, I forgot. <laughs> I'm right in the middle of it. <laughs> Let's pick something else. Oh yeah, there's the one where I'm underwater that had like a watermark on it. <laughs> that one was fun, but there's like a big fucking M that pops up at the end. <laughs> I did not recognize that. Playing with JPEG stream? Well, why not? We can do what we want. There's no rules. There's like five people watching. This is a very calming uh, ambiance. I like being underwater, but this video is no good. 
Uh, I guess we should go back to space unless there's anything else in here. Wait. Is that what I think it is? Does it have... Yeah, I do have the Skyrim intro in here. Does it have sound? No, it does not. I'm glad we have this, though. It's in, like, 5 FPS. This video is, like, 10 years old. Yeah, well, what'd you expect? Like, I had to time, uh... I think... Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't remember. When I made my Skyrim intro video... Hey, I'm the... F You're finally awake guy. I'm there. <laughs> um... Can I record this myself? No, I think I do have a video that I did record myself. Um, it was just to get the timing right, because depending on how good your computer is, the timing on this intro is different every time. I think I did use my own video when I made the, uh, the Skyrim intro parody that I did. Next time Skyrim gets a remake, uh, it's called The Elder Scrolls VI. Ooh, Jesus, that bit right. We gotta get out of here. Where's my recording of it? Yeah, Skyrim.mp4. Yeah, I don't trust that. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Oh, and there's the clip of Scorpio with 9-11. <laughs> oh, there's the beach that makes you old .mp4. I love that. Let's show that. It doesn't have any sound. Boo. Is it muted? Yeah, I guess it can't play sound. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm just... Let's go back to space. Jesus Christ. I've got too many fucking video files in here. <laughs> Why is this in my OBS? It's not. Uh, I'm just clicking on the thing that's like... Uh, open local file, and those are in my files. Would you guys like to know how big the fake ASMR folder is? All one word. It's got 2,300 items in it, and it is 262 gigabytes big. That's my entire channel in one folder, and I've moved parts of it off into storage before. I am terrible with data management, guys. But still, we're not doing too bad. I uninstalled Control and a couple of other video games I haven't been playing, and I've still got 70 gigabytes free on my hard drive. So we're making it. We're all gonna survive. Mingles. Nice. Okay, back to- okay, good luck. Hope you feel better. One point it will reach a terabyte? Well, I hope not. The thing that pissed me off about this computer is that the hard drive is only one terabyte big. I wanted two. I really could have used a second terabyte. But I'm not interested in, like, I don't know how you would add that to a computer without, like, adding another drive. And that's always a pain in the ass because I hate having split drives. I had a laptop with a split drive. And everything got installed into the smaller drive. Even 8 terabyte drives aren't that expensive. Do you think I should, like, install it myself? Do you think it'd be worth? Do you think it'd be possible? Imagine you could install that yourself. Yeah, I mean, the side of the... The side of my PC is just glass, because it's, a, uh, It's one of those RGB bullshit computers. That I never use the RGB for because that's irritating. For real. I don't know how people live with that. Hope that trend dies off soon. Um, but yeah, I can just open it up. It's got like knobs on the side and you can just open it. So I guess I could figure that out. It's not that hard. You don't know how dumb I am. Just cloud store all that. <sighs> I don't trust that either. I think I'm going to risk somebody getting into all my secret files. 
My secret files that I keep that are secret that nobody can know about ever. Nobody can know about my outtakes. Oh, Mingles install his RAM. There's no way you're dumber than him. Wow. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> Don't want rainbows hitting your eyes every time you press a key. I forgot that my old gamer, in quotes, laptop that I just bought so I could uh, play. I bought it so I could play Arkham City on it, I think. And it didn't even run inscription. Boo. I bought this $3,000 PC so I could so I could play inscription on it. It was pre-built and like we were in the height of the Bitcoin era, so don't blame me. It was expensive. It just was. I mean, the files of all the audios you release to public anyway. Hey man, sometimes the outtakes, they get a little bit blue. Like, I don't want you all to think that I'm a bad person with hate in my heart, but sometimes when I'm reading a script, I get really fucking mad. <laughs> It's either at myself for flubbing a line or at like the script slash script writer for writing something bad. There is a not insubstantial amount of recording of me being absolutely fucking furious. And I want you guys to hear that. More secret than the real fakers. Oh yeah, there are outtakes that I will absolutely not put in a real faker video. I can't. They're just... They're either too explicit about my life or they're just like pure rage at somebody who I know will be watching the video. The rage does not stick. I'm not a hateful person. I am a hater, but I'm not a hateful person. So like there are words that not even the real fakers can know about. Milestone audio release? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Spontaneously breaking into Eiffel 65? No, you all know that I would, I would totally make you listen to that. I make them listen to me sing half of a Valkyrie song. You're listening to me sing a song in English, too. 10,000 subs for audio and face reveal. Absolutely not. I'm not getting to 100,000 subs and then losing them because of a call-out post. <laughs> Why not delete them if they're never to be posted? What are you holding on to them for? Listen, those are the original audio files. I didn't just record myself swearing for the hell of it. Those are mid-script recording. I said some off-the-cuff stuff, and that's just a part of the recording now. And I need the original recordings in case I ever need to go back and edit them again. Because I've learned from experience, like, whenever I deleted the original, like, recording files, I always ended up needing them again, and I could never find them again to re-edit them. That was... Like, if I'm ever trying to do something like the Monster Girl pack ever again, I need those original files. They cannot be deleted. Turn your flubs into a blooper reel. I do. Well, the good ones anyway. Listen, listening to me mess up a line is not funny. It's just, I know it seems funny, like when you're watching the bloopers for a movie and, um, and a character, like an actor will flub a line and then everybody laughs. When I mess up a line, it's just, me sitting in silence getting frustrated with myself. It's not funny. I can make it funny. Like, sometimes I'll mess up, like, a speaking line and make a joke out of it, but usually I'm just saying a line over and over again to try to get it right. Just a low growling noise. I don't know what the fuck that was. You like to see a fake rage compilation? Uh, it, I don't know me well enough to do my own compilations. 
I guess I could take them from some live streams, like, uh, oof. I guess I got kind of mad during the, uh, super liminal streams. What other times did I get mad? Oh, right. Mario RPG. I don't know. I feel like that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> that series that traumatized Elsie forever. <laughs> I'm never going to play another Mario game on stream ever again. I promise you that. Your rant stream with biggest tickets. <laughs> you got mad during the My Friendly Neighbor stream? That was fair. Like, what happened to the gameplay footage? Listen, I guess I'm spoiled because I'm from a different era. I used to be able to watch entire video games without commentary, just gameplay. Of course, that was with Arkham City, and, like, I guess that's a privileged spot to be in because that's a really popular game, but people just uploading gameplay footage, no commentary at all, apparently not a thing anymore. Or if they do upload it, they're fucking liars about it, like that one guy was when he said he had no deaths and then he died a bunch of times. Like a liar. I feel like you were being a huge hater during your Pokemon stream. Which one? I don't remember playing Pokemon. I didn't do that. That wasn't real. <laughs> if I gift you RE4 Remake on Steam, will you play it? Mm, I don't know. I don't really like shooter games. I I don't really want it. I don't. I don't want it. What happened during the Mario streams? I was a hater and I was mad because I kept dying. Because chat bullied me into setting the difficulty level to hard and I didn't want to do that. World of Long Plays? Legit. He died twice. Whatever. Too many times. What was it? Never Die Twice. That's a James Bond movie. Neon's big juicy butt. You know I'm not gonna be able to play it with like th throwing a thousand terrible mods onto it. Not those mods, but mods. Excited for 420. It's going to be on a Saturday, so I'm very excited to hear high fake on stream. Uh, probably not. I got to go to a thing. And, like, even if I get back in a reasonable amount of time, like, uh... I mean, I guess I could buy some edibles, but... Oh, thank you, Anonymous Anonymous, Wait, for gifting like one fake that? membership. That's so cool. Tradello, you got lucky. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, um, I guess I could buy, like, uh, some gummies or something, but, like, the government weed is bad and doesn't get you high, least of all me. But thank you, one boy, for the 690. Nice. Unfortunately, it's not in American dollars, so it probably won't pop up correctly with the alert, but I'll say it. 69 dudes I, think I like your vids. The scenarios are funny and interesting and your voice is super relaxing. Keep up the good work. Thank you also, so much. Haha funny, <laughs> funny number. I'm sorry. I really wish that uh that Streamlabs would let you do that with like any currency, but it only does it with US currency. Sorry. The catnip stream. I don't think catnip is comparable to weed. Doesn't it make cats act crazy? Oh my god. Anonymous, anonymous, what do you do? Oh my god. Cool. Oh my god. Thank you for the 20 fake member. You did it again. Oh my god. How? How are there still people that can receive it? There are so many. A chaos demon. It's your boy. You 
What the fuck? Super Cage 13, thank you for gifting five fake membership. What is happening? You're gonna run out of people. You got Kirby. I don't. Damn. Thank you, Super Cage 13 and Anonymous Anonymous. I get. Yeah, you know what? We gotta check it. We gotta check it. We gotta check the new emote slot. It's canon and it's true and it's real. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna get it. Maybe. I don't. I don't know. I still don't know if it's enough. You made someone a real faker. Wait. That's what? So what the fuck? Hey, I wasn't looking. You can't do it when I'm not looking. Thank you, anonymous, anonymous, for the ten f fake memberships. Oh, you got lazy VA. That's a good one. Um, Jesus, I don't. I've never even heard of these people. They don't watch the streams. They're going to show up in the comments section and be like, who gave me this? <laughs> They're not even here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please, I just, I'm, I have to, don't do anything. I have to look at my default perks. I have to, I have to unlock emojis. It's not enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. We used to have, there was a time when we had like 200 real fakers and I unlocked a lot of slots. So <laughs> I'm really sorry. I can't unlock another one. It's not going to let me. Uh, let me refresh the page. Maybe it got, maybe it got stuck. Maybe it doesn't know how many members we have. Please. It should go automatically. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sound really shitty saying this. We need two more members. <laughs> May I can maybe I can gift them myself. I should gift them. <laughs> I should I should do that. I'll I'll Is this money laundering? Whatever. Membership gifting. Huh. So you can buy them in increments. Well, I don't know. It's letting me do it. You made so Oh shit. Thank you Jacob ZV for so cool. gifting a fake membership. Hold on. I can't I'm trying to look at it. I've got the chat window open. This is really confusing. I don't know if it'll let me, but it might. Oh, so this is how it works. Lucky recipients selected by YouTube get one... Oh, thank you, SuperKH13, for gifting one fake membership. Okay, okay. Okay. Your bank network fucking crashed. I mean, they probably... They probably froze your account because of suspicious purchases. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if we could do this. Refresh the page. We could do it. I could say I could get a new emote slot. It's gonna happen. Do it. It has to happen. Yes. Yes. We're here. I'm saving it with fake sorry. It's just it's gonna go in there for where the f where are my where are my emotes? Where did I put them? I have to I have to put something in there to save it. Where are they? Where is fake sorry? I think... I don't remember which one it is. That one looks bad. I have two different sorry emotes. They both look really bad. I'm sorry. That's gonna... I'm... That's... That's saving my position for when... I get a better emote to put in that slot. <laughs> I'm so glad Nice- I forgot he was there. Nice, do you see this shit? You see in this shit? I can't see it on my end. Somebody try to enact a sorry. That was the placeholder. It should be there. Yeah! Is it there? Yeah! Haha! <laughs> Nice, are you seeing this shit? 
Ah, oh, thank you, everyone. I, I should thank everybody who made this possible. The Academy. Uh, thank you, Super KH13. Thank you, Jacob CV. Thank you, Anonymous Anonymous, for really pulling through. That was like 80 gift memberships, or like 80 and change. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Had to refresh, sorry. Yeah, the sorry emote uh, did not really get a lot of traction. Nobody's really used that. But uh, we'll replace it with something better. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the sorry that there's not an emote there yet. Nice, are you seeing this? He's thrilled. Apparently, they're going to be announcing the rest of the unit in a live stream later this month. I'm probably not going to care about any of them. Because they're not my way. If they've got a dude in their unit who's like a real fucking freak, and I mean looks like a real fucking freak, maybe. But if they're all just, like, nice over here, uh, I'm not going to care. It's going to be like Ryu Satai 2. You should have a nice emote. I feel like YouTube might already have one of those. Let's see, let's look at their defaults. Wow, they've got a lot of defaults. We got one for goal. And game over. Hmm, I guess I could add a nice one. Oh, getting an emote of Oscar. Oscar the dog, my nephew? An emote of Nice's face. I'll hold off on that until I know a single thing about him. Because this is the OnStars universe. What if it turns out he's a murderer? Okay, that probably wouldn't stop me. But, like, what if it turns out that he, like, fucked over Alkaloid? I would never forgive him. What if he shows up and, like, he ruins an Alkaloid concert? What was that? My throat just croaked. We don't know what he did during the war. We don't even know if he was there during the war. Maybe he was living in the walls in Yumanosaki the entire time like Mayui was. Maybe he holds the key to Mayui's backstory. They still haven't re revealed that, you know. As far as we know, he was just living in the fucking walls. Huge story opportunity being completely ignored for introducing new characters. Frankly, I don't think even they know what Mayui's backstory is. Nobody has any plans. Just the last time you will see me in your chat have a nice career on YouTube. No! What? Anonymous, anonymous. Are you committing die? They're gone forever. Rest in peace. Nice, are you seeing this? This is a tragedy. Thank you for your sacrifice. If I could salute, I would. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Gandalf. <laughs> What's another sad song? Um, and I... No. Um, I hope you had the time of your life. <laughs> we lost a good one today. We really did. Exit pursued by a bear. <laughs> Crawling in my skin. There is no one left to love. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take anything seriously. But thank you, Anonymous Anonymous, for everything you've done. I've become so numb.
Sing Freak? I don't know that song. Wake me up, wake me up inside. I remember when they stopped manufacturing the penny, I tried to make like a slideshow with sad music. I think it was that, I don't know, that Sarah McLaughlin song everybody knows. But it got copyright claimed by YouTube when they took it down. <laughs> I didn't get to say goodbye to the penny. <laughs> But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Thank you for providing me with these sad songs, because I don't remember any songs, like, ever. Zombie by the Cranberries? I don't know that song. I don't know sad song. And there's Fred Jones part two, but that doesn't really fit. Never heard Freaks by Surf Curse. I've never even heard of Surf Curse. I don't know Johnny Casher well enough. So sad I'm glitching out. The pain, the sorrow, the anguish. Bittersweet Symphony? I mean, they do sing Bittersweet Symphony. My good? Well, Anonymous Anonymous just is committed to die. <laughs> He's gone forever. Nope, I don't know that mad dude. I'm sorry. The only thing that could possibly comfort me is my son, Nice. Nice isn't helping. Find a sad song from the public domain? Impossible. All the songs in the public domain are very happy. Nice Argon Blueberry. <laughs> um, how was I gonna say? Uh, I've forgotten. I've completely forgotten. Likes to play Despacito. All I know is Despacito. <laughs> I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. I fucking hate that song. I'll tell you why I hate that song. It's because when I was a kid, or when I was younger, I had a I had a bus driver who, when we went to school in the morning, she would always be playing the fucking rock radio station over the bus speakers. It was the, literally the only bus driver I've ever had that played the radio on the bus. I, yeah, one of a kind. And every fucking day, the rock radio station would play that song. I know it was huge, but I hated hearing it every day. My face is still sad. I'm traumatized. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? That's a sad song too. See the Fallout show? No, I don't watch TV. Processing our grief. Exactly. You know, having this guy on screen definitely means I'm going to get a call-out post in about a year. Because, uh, this guy's definitely going to do some fucked up shit in OnStars and be, like, terribly evil. And then somebody's going to come back and watch this and see him on my stream and be, like, cancelled. She likes his problematic character. She's got two Mariah Carey CDs. Ooh. Which ones? The Christmas one and the other one. Just finished watching the FNAF movie and it was so good. 
I can't speak to that, Chris. You get brigaded by aunties. <laughs> oh, they're all so mad because Black Butler, that Shotokan the fucking anime. Like, Sebaciel is practically canon. It's as canon as it can be in a mainstream show. But all of them are just like, oh, Sebaciel shippers, they're the minority, and like, they're gross and we don't like them, and like, the rest of the show is really good, and it's like, did y'all forget about the corset scene? Did you forget? Even the ones that are like, oh, most of the fan service stuff happened in a, in episodes of the anime that weren't, that weren't canon. And, and I'm like, the corset scene was canon. That happened in the manga. I remember that. <laughs> don't lie to me. It's not on TV. It's prime video. It's a TV show and I don't watch TV shows. Ooh. Ooh. That's still TV. Whatever. I don't care if like you watch it on a man. That's still TV. Silly. Hear about Detective Conan? It happened again. <laughs> That's the, the third series that I can count. I, I never watched Detective Conan. I don't care about it. But it's the third series I can count that <laughs> the biggest ship, they turned out to be related. <laughs> At least they were just cousins, right? The other two, they were like direct siblings. Oof. <laughs> I watch Oshinoko. Oh, right. Those two are like twins in their endgame, right? Or something like that? I don't know. I mean, good for them. I don't watch it, though. We have Andy and Laylee. Right, I've heard about that. Not really interested in playing it, but I'm glad, like... They put some crazy shit out there. Like, everybody was so mad about it. They were just like, oh, I thought this was just going to be a dark game about murder and terrible things. I didn't think it would have incest in it. Which, I mean, like, I guess that's different, but, like, it's not really on, like, a worse level than the murder. Cousins is boring. <laughs> I mean, depending on the location, marrying your first cousin isn't even, like, a problem. <laughs> Sending the stream to all the aunties. No, you're gonna get me cancelled. You're gonna get me cancelled for being a filthy pro shipper. <laughs> Don't you know? It means problematic shipper. It definitely doesn't just mean pro as in the prefix pro. We have to make up like other words for it, obviously. I'm not even that in deep into shipping discourse, but even I know that's dumb. I'm just t listen. It's my fault. I like BL too much. You can't like BL without getting into some sort of shit. Even if you're a gay man. Even if you're a Fudanshi. They fucking hate you. <laughs> like, Fujoshi I almost kind of get because they're just like, oh, you're fetishizing male relationships. And it's like, man, eh, I don't really agree with that, but fine. Maybe you have a problem with that. But what's the problem with Fudachi? Like, that's just a gay guy that likes gay content then. At that point, you're just homophobic. <laughs> Pretty sure those twins eat their parents after extorting them. Ooh. Don't really feel like playing it, though. Naruto and Sakura were right? What, like they were, they were OTP? I mean, I don't know if I agree that Naruto and Sakura should have gotten together. I was kind of a fan of what he had going with Hinata, even though they didn't get that, that much screen time together. But whatever the case, I don't believe that Sakura should have ended up with Sasuke. Like, he treated her like shit. Really, she deserved better. Like, literally, she could have just been single and it would have been fine. She deserved better than Sasuke. And Sasuke didn't deserve her. Like, I'm not even that huge of a Naruto fan, but I will, I will say that forever. Sasuke's a dick. People who get mad at self-sex, sex, clone, ex-clone. Oh, it's worse than that. Uh, I'm in the HLVRAI fandom, and people get mad about shipping different versions of Gordon together. 
So like canon Half-Life Gordon X HLBI Gordon plus maybe uh, Freeman's Mind Gordon. People have problems with that. They're not related. They're just the same guy in different universes. What What is problematic about that? There's no way that could ever possibly be real. Sasuke should have went with Naruto. I mean, truth. But I was thinking realistically. Like, Naruto and Sasuke should have been endgame, but since this is shonen, that was never in the cards. So, in the end, Sasuke should get nothing. If anything. Even though, like, after everything Sasuke and Naruto went through, like, Naruto going on a whole chase after him and being like, I have to bring Sasuke back to the village. Like, for years and years, everything they had going on. They had their first kiss together, that is true. And then they weren't endgame. I think that was, that was a lie and a falsehood. Most people find the need to have everyone paired up with another character. Yeah, but that's just fandom stuff. The real issue is when it, inf it infects the canon, which is... Oh, cool. Um, just in Naruto, everybody got paired together, even if it didn't make any sense. Like, just... I don't think there was a single, like, character in the original Naruto cast who didn't end up hitched. Like... Hey. What's the discourse alternate universe versions of yourself can't consent? No, it's like the incest problem. I don't know. <laughs> Naruto and Sakura was supposed to be in game because Sakura is based off the creator's wife. How could he do that to her? Rockley and Tenton, did they get together? Was that official? Okay, anybody who's keeping up with Boruto, I have to ask this question again. I ask this every few months to a year. Uh, who is Metal Lee's mother? Canonically. And don't say like, oh, fans theorize that it's Tenten. I need a canonical answer. Who is Metal Lee's mother? Who is it? Is, is he just a kid that Rock Lee found that looks suspiciously like him? Was it Cell Division? They have not even hinted at who his mother could be yet. What the fuck? I just want to know the answer to this mystery. Did Rockley fuck? Is he canonically with Ten Ten, or is that just a fan pairing? I just need to know. You just assumed? I don't know, the post-Naruto, like, setup, like, what's going on with, currently, with the original Naruto cast is the saddest fucking thing ever. I saw what they did to Shino. That's sad as hell. He's like a lonely old man. Why did they do that to him? Like, come on. He splits via mitosis. Oh, that's just a fan pairing. Okay. Well, you know what? Ten Ten. I bet she's not doing anything in Boruto because the entire time they couldn't even be fucked to give her a last name. Ten Ten never got a last name. Is Boruto even a thing nowadays? Are you kidding me? Naruto's popular forever. Boruto is still getting updates. No shot, it's not. The most successful franchise. He's not lonely, he has his bugs. I've seen gifs of an episode where, like, he tries to go out and connect with people and they just think he's a sad loser. <laughs> She's like Mario, first name 10, last name 10. That's so fucking sad. Another fun fact about 1010, the swing set Naruto usually sits on is more screen time than her. <laughs> yeah, that might actually be legitimately true. <laughs> <laughs> whenever naruto is like oh this enemy that i'm fighting grew up lonely just like me flashback to the swing set <laughs> i don't know man that swing set doesn't really seem very lonely to me a swing set is awesome i don't care if he was alone as a child swing sets are fun 
So I'm trying to make that seem sad. If you want to show him being lonely as a child, how about you show him being alone in his apartment with, like, nobody to raise him at all? <laughs> like, he's, like, ten years old, and they just let him live in an apartment by himself. He has no caretakers or anything. <laughs> Swing set has more screen time than 10 10. That's not a joke. Oh my god. That's so fucking sad. I thought 10 10 was really cool. She has those scrolls with the weapons in them, right? That was fun. I guess. No, I guess the reason why 10 10 is single is because she was supposed to be endgame with Neji, but then he died. <laughs> Aren't they fantasy ninjas? Why does he have an apartment? Because it's fantasy. It's like, I mean, in Boruto, they have fucking smartphones. Well, maybe not. I saw, I did see a laptop in the first, in like the last chapter of Naruto. You know, where they flash forward. They have laptops, at least. I don't know about cell phones. But they're, it's just like fantasy. And then, like, Naruto was originally made in the 90s, right? So they were just like, oh, whatever. We don't need phones. But now... Like, Boruto came out in semi-modern age, so they're just like, yeah, we gotta have computers now. Whatever. They also have radios and laboratories. Oh, yeah. My favorite episode, I think. Oh, thank you, Silent CXE, for the $10. Don't have the capability to be cute, so I cannot accept your request to be cute with you. Incorrect. Anybody can be cute. They just gotta, they gotta give it the right gusto and go, yeah. And Naruto does have instant ramen, so, like, it's definitely just, like, an urban fantasy. We can throw in whatever uh, technology we want. I think they have movies and TV. I'm pretty sure they had TV in the original Naruto. I think in the background of one of the shots, you can see a TV. So that's a thing. Uh, but, yeah. A current Boruto does have laptops, at least. Anyway, my favorite episode, or episodes, because it was probably... Everything that happens in Naruto gets stretched out for at least five episodes. If I send you a nice gift, can you show it on stream? Maybe. Depends what it is. Send it to me, and I'll decide. But I like the uh, the bit where, um... I don't remember how this came about, but, uh... Team Guy with Neji, Lee, and Ten Ten. They, uh... They've all got to go around some mountain and, like... Peel off, like, seals protective seals and then they have to fight their clones that was so fun also we got to see rock lee with uh the bandana or whatever they call it on his head instead of around his waist i thought that was really fun he looks really cool with that yeah but they had like little radio transmitters that they were like walkie talkies they were talking to each other from that was a fun episode. I liked it. So I cannot accept <laughs> they had to fight their clones. That's so fun. You will have to be cute alone. Tongue. Wait, what? Did it just say tongue? Does it know? Early on, they did have earpieces in Naruto, and then those disappeared, but they came back in Shippuden. I remember that. Because that was the episode. Holy shit, I have so many fucking notifications. Where are you? <laughs> okay, I've kind of forgotten that he's just been sitting here the whole stream. Yeah, sure, why not? I have to go find it and save it on my computer. Wait, okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm looking at this, uh, this is from Twitter. Sorry, I just, somebody's posting. Okay, so this is the English version. Nice Arnab Thunder from Thunderbolt Entertainment. So that's the new Idol production company. He's got to be running it then, right? Wait. Oh my god, hold on, there's a conspiracy theory on Twitter. He might be the producer, though, since his silhouette doesn't seem to be part of the new unit. <gasps> oh my god. Don't tell me, he's not even like... 
He's in charge. Okay, but Aichi's in charge of whatever studio he's in charge of, and he's still in a unit. It would be so crazy if they introduced this guy and then he's not even, like, an idol. That's so nuts. I don't even know why I'm getting excited about this. I'm not even going to see this guy for another two years. Wow. Okay, hold up. I'm look- I'm sorry. I know I'm getting distracted, but, like, hype. I'm looking at this picture and, like, the cutesy poses. There's a dude with, like, a mile long a hoge. Yeah, one dude's doing, like, a super cutesy pose, and the other guy's, like, kind of, like, got his hand on his arm like he's nervous. That might be the one. That might be my guy. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna see them for two years, I'm just excited. Ugh. Anyway, Tumblr. I'm such a freak. Where is my inbox? My messages. Ugh. I don't know how anything works because the dashboard on fucker stopped working and I had to uninstall it and I'm confused. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hope this thing does GIFs. It does. Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, I, I cropped it. My bad. Oh, that's the wrong button. Guys, I fucked up immensely. Oh, this is terrible. Please. There we go. I had to crop him. He was too wide. They introduce this guy in his unicorn vomit suit first, and he's not even going to be an idol as part of the unit? Come on, I don't buy that. He's got to be the leader. They don't make 3D models for producers. They had a new producer character, like a guy with long hair who was kind of shy and cute, and he didn't get a 3D model. I don't know his name. He hasn't shown up yet. <sighs> okay, I'm turning it off. Looks like a poke. Actually, yes. Like that, like that new guy with the weird hair from the DLC. Yeah. Ace Attorney, not quite. I'm going with Pokemon. Ignore that. Okay. There's a lot of questions. I need answers. Such as, what should I have for dinner tonight? We should plan this. Um, I have half a can of beans left. I have uh, pulled pork. That's still gotta be cooked. Um, what else do I have? I have sandwich meat. I can make a sandwich. I've completely forgotten what food I have. Make pasta? No. Too much work. Homemade burrito? I don't think I have any refried beans right, right now. So no. I keep thinking I'm gonna make my bean burgers of legend, but I never have the time. They take so long to make. Order Chinese? I don't like Chinese food. I know I'm such a fucking hater and like, there's a vast array of Chinese foods. I don't like most of them. I can eat chicken balls. <laughs> uh, I can eat that thing that's made of eggs. Missed my last bean burger stream. It's okay. They weren't good because it was white kidney beans. Not the same formula. Chicken balls. Listen, I know you're trying to make fun of me, but that is a legit Chinese food item. You know what I mean when I say that. Don't pretend like you don't. They're just bits of chicken with, like, breading. But not, like, fried breading. I don't know how they make it, but it's not as good as popcorn chicken. 
as previously discussed. Gotta look this up. Oh my god. Duh. What? Pixel G? That was your first super. And you donated $99.99. What is this impossible? Thank you, first of all. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like my videos enough to donate $99. That is a lot. That's very extreme. Oh, we didn't get we didn't get the Lady Gaga with the incredible thing. I should have I should have marked that down. <laughs> Found anonymous new account. No, Pixel G's around. Yeah, Chad Gifters all over today. People being so generous with thank you, Pixel G. Like my God, like holy shit. You're starting off your first super with a bang. I really hope that was intentional. I do get really worried that people might accidentally have put like an extra number onto their onto their uh, gift donations. I worry about that. You know, people like spending that much money by accident because YouTube super chats don't allow refunds. I do worry. You make fake immortal quick, finally me an animatronic suit. Why do I need to be immortal? I can just become a vampire. Like all the other famous YouTubers. It's the truth. Mr. Beast, vampire. It's true. <laughs> That's my latest conspiracy theory. Like, yeah, everybody's like, oh, uh, all YouTubers are part of like a secret pedo ring or something. That's the typical conspiracy theory. I don't see anybody else out there claiming that they're members of the undead. I could have my own original, unique conspiracy theory that nobody's got the hot tips on. It's all me. Mr. Beast is the Antichrist. There are probably some people on Twitter that have that conspiracy theory already, though. Hello, Waddle Dee. From Kirby, I assume. Yogg's Cast, Lewis, Vampire Extraordinaire. I'm sorry, I've fallen off Yogg's Cast in like 10 years. Time traveling, JFK killed himself. No, his head just did that. From Kirby. From Kirby. It was from Kirby. I like Kirby. I know him. He's round and pink. Except for that one time he was white. He put in a cheat code wrong? Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Um, it was Rosebud with the colons. What would Kirby taste like? Uh, I don't know. Didn't uh, Brian David Gilbert try to sort that out? I don't know. I wish he'd make Unraveled again. I know he can't because it's like owned by Polygon and he left, but I want him to do some like crazy bullshit analysis again. <laughs> I don't want to be, like, demanding of a creator. Like, he's like, I'm not your friend. You know, say what I do with my body. I know that's true. I just wish he'd do something more interesting again. I'm a bit of a hater. We put a thousand people inside the Ring of Sacrifice. Ubisoft is going to break into people's houses and steal the crew from them. Yeah, well, like, they've made it so that it's unlisted from Steam and people's Steam accounts, like, people who have bought it, that can't be legal. Like, I don't know how far Ross is gonna get with that, uh, Save Lost Games thing he's doing, but, like, that game's not even ten years old. At least I don't think. So, like, no game preservation whatsoever. It is a crime, in the literal sense that they're, like, stealing the product from people, but also, like, that entire world that they made, they modeled the entire United States, and that shit's just gone? That should be a crime. That's the destruction of art. 
Like, shit, man. I hate that. Back of the pirate hats? Well, I don't even know if, like, a pirated copy would work. Because in his review, he said that the crew runs on a central server. He even said in the review, he was like, this, like, this game is doomed. He knew that, like, years and years ago when he reviewed it, he said, this game is doomed because it relies on a central server, and as soon as that shut down, the game's not going to work anymore. It's not a game that requires you, that you really need to be online for. Like, yeah, there are other players that can pop up in the world when you're there at the same time, but there was no reason for it to be online only. None at all. It could be a completely single-player experience. There was no reason to make it rely on a central server. It's just terrible game design, and also theft. NFS World was revived, so maybe it'll happen in, like, a few years. I mean... I really hope this whole, like, suing Ubisoft situation, like, gets them to cut the shit out, because this is just ridiculous. I have no interest in playing the crew. I don't like driving games, I'm bad at them, but still, the idea that there's a game out there that still exists, and is fully functional, nothing wrong with it whatsoever, is just disappearing because the people who made it didn't plan ahead for the eventuality of servers shutting down, just, it just infuriates me. Like, how dare you? Like, literally, how dare you? <laughs> like, that's something that people bought. It's a game that they can buy and play. Literally, all they would have to do is just, like, push an update that's like, hey, it doesn't need to be on a server anymore, and you can just play it by yourself. Don't worry about it. That's it. How dare you? They removed one of the cars because the license for it ran out and they didn't bother to remove it. That's like, that's the problem with the digital only store shelves. Like, remember there was a few years where you couldn't buy Deadpool the game because they didn't renew the license. Like, what do you mean? Want people to play the Crew Motorfest? They'll be lucky if anybody plays a Crew game ever again, knowing that it'll go offline in less than a decade. What's the point in buying a game if you can't play it forever? At least with shitty gotcha games that go offline, I get it. Like, the whole point was to just have it as a live service. It's free, and the only reason to keep it around is if it's making money. But, like, this is a legacy. Like, Saw game I'm playing isn't available digitally anymore. Yeah, like, I just... I'm so, I'm so angry. Like, as somebody who plays gacha games, I have accepted that one of these days, OnStars, probably not in the next few years, will go offline and be completely inaccessible. And the best case scenario for that is like, the developer puts out a story app that just gives you all of the stories from the game and like maybe the songs and that's it. But like, I know that most of the games I'm playing on my phone are going to go offline and aren't going to be available anymore. And I'm fine with that because I don't have to pay for them. <laughs> Upcoming nice controversy is going to bankrupt happy elements. No. Just, at the very least, like, yeah, there are gotcha mechanics and stuff you can pay for, but you don't have to pay to play. Uh, like, a game I paid for is not being ripped out of my hands. It still sucks, but at the very least, I'm not being literally robbed. <sighs> I just... I hate this shit. I really hate it. I don't know how far Ross is going to be able to go with his plans, but I hope he succeeds. I really do. Those Finnish Warner Brother movies? Oh my god. I'm so fucking mad about that. Like, if they're not going to sell it, if it's going to be like a tax write-off for them, release it into the public domain. Like, just keeping it on a shelf somewhere... 
after people like put put their heart and souls into making like a movie, a feature film, and they're just like, no, it'll be cheaper if we just shelve it. How can that be possible? How could it possibly be cheaper? What, like, what kind of magic tax write-offs are you getting that not releasing a movie is cheaper than releasing it? Like, die. When I click on the crew in my Ubisoft library, it's telling me to go to the store and buy a new game. You see? That's fucking theft. They fucking stole from you. Creative team tried to save the footage, but the files were deleted by the time they got the news. What, they just, like, straight up deleted it? Like... The whole movie. Seriously. They just, like, made sure that it didn't exist. Everything. Fuck that. There should be a way to sue for that. Government that wrote off the tax should just take the film. Yeah, really? That's what you heard. Like, I'm so fucking furious at every industry. <sighs> Happened to the Supergirl TV show a while ago. I didn't hear about that. I thought that show existed. Ugh. I can't be angry all the time. It's being paid for by the government, so it should be public domain. Yeah. How does not releasing a movie mean you don't owe the government money? I think if, like, you do a tax... Listen, I don't know fuck all about taxes, but I think if you do a tax write-off, it means, like, you owe less taxes elsewhere. I don't know how it saves you money. But clearly it does, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. I'm so mad. So many movies we're never gonna get to see. Whew. <sighs> I just... Like, Ross, I see him as a powerful person, like, mentally, because he's strong, and he does a lot of crazy shit. I don't know if he's gonna be able to pull it off, but I hope he can. It was the Bat- right, the Batgirl movie. That one I'm not as upset about, but like, still, fuck you. You're not gonna release that, but you're gonna release The Flash? The Flash? Every time I buy something that the company claims they're renting or you're scrapping from them, I find a way to download a digital copy for myself and say F them. You mean Brendan Fr he was in the Batgirl movie? What? Yeah, like, movies these days take years to make. Like, like, CGI, like, just everything. It takes so long to make a movie. He was the villain. That's fucking bullshit. I guess the idea with shelving it is that you don't have to pay the actors or the writers residuals. I guess that saves you money in the long term. But, like... I know these motherfuckers aren't thinking long term. They're thinking quarter by quarter. The current quarter is the only one that matters. It's so disappointing. Okay. Well... I'm nice and pissed off. I think I should start wrapping it up now. Like, geez. We can't- we can't be angry all the time. 
Reality is often disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. So is virtual reality. Like... You see, like, uh, I saw a review of the uh, Apple headset thing. It doesn't have the same capabilities. Like, yeah, it's more powerful, but it doesn't even have the same capabilities as, like, regular headsets. And it's overpriced. Go for a walk or something, burn off that stress. I mean, I should. I still need to get all my steps in. Today, listen, I know, I'm a bit of a loser for doing this, but I decided to look up which exercises burn the most calories because I want to be a little bit more efficient. They say running. Running's good. Really tiring. Very tiring. So I kept going down the list, and at the bottom they were like, walking upstairs. <laughs> I've got several floors in a uh, oh the John Deere farm equipment thing. Didn't they didn't they win that though? Didn't they win the right to repair or no? So like my apartment building has a lot of stairs, got a lot of floors. <laughs> so I was just like I'm just going to walk up the stairs while doing the uh, merge mini game from the uh, current event in On Stars just get through all my orders in that and uh, just I'm grinding for the Himeru card because I think it looks super cool I just I walked up the stairs and then back down and then back up 20 minutes total I timed myself of walking up the stairs I got kind of sweaty by the end of it it's not like a great calorie burn but it is exercise I just didn't feel like going to the gym today <laughs> I could have continued walking up the stairs to the roof and gone to the gym, but I didn't. I just felt like walking about and being in different places in the building. <laughs> Gotten some of the rights back, but not all of them yet. I just, I can't deal. What's with the live slug reaction to stairs? Listen, I need the practice. I'm so bad at walking up stairs. I walk up like four flights and I'm exhausted. What the hell? I'm just trying to walk up the stairs to the gym and I get tired before I'm even in the gym. I need the workout. I can't go outside for a walk though, it's fucking cold. I recommend going for short runs outdoors like 20 or 30 minutes. You, you overestimate how long I can run for. Best I can do is eight minutes. <laughs> it's like a short run of 20 minutes. I'm like, I haven't even gotten to 20 minutes, man. How are you gonna run for 20 fucking minutes? <laughs> I can, uh, the thing they recommend is like, you do a minute of running and then a minute of walking and then you cycle that. I do that on the treadmill. I don't know if I want to do that outside though. Gotta take it to the graveyard. I could do a running track. It's a little bit steep though. Do that on the treadmill? Yeah, there's a there's a setting for it. It's an exercise routine. You just pick uh, uh, the walk-run cycle. You run for a minute, and then you walk for a minute, and then you run for another minute, and you choose how long you want to do that for. Are you going to tell me that like running on the treadmill breaks it eventually? Because if so, why do they let you do that? I think I would go insane. I mean, it's not really fun, but, you know, gets a job done. I consider it a proper exercise if I'm sweating. Oh, it is very boring. That is true. Exercising is very boring. I don't like going for walks on the treadmill. I prefer to go outside. It's just that it's really cold and I don't want to walk in the cold. I'm a wimp. I'm a coward. I'm a loser. I don't want to be cold. Everything breaks eventually. It came free with your second law of thermodynamics. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes I'll go up to the, uh, 
I'll go up to the treadmill because like it's a public gym that everybody in the building uses and it never saves like run speed or walk speed so I have to set it every time but it does save the weight of the person that was there last and sometimes I'll go into the exercise program and be like okay 313 pounds and I'm like I'm glad that that person is going to the gym and getting exercise but the fact that I have to hold the button down to get it down from that to like into the hundreds is so annoying. <laughs> some music and daydream i put myself into action scenarios so i can run oh yeah i was totally picturing lies of p boss gameplay to get myself to keep running definitely was doing that i gotta listen to like uh you know like uh fucking initial d soundtrack you gotta you gotta get it going You have to input your weight on the treadmill. Well, you don't to like start it up, but if you're doing a uh, if you're doing an exercise program, it wants to calculate how many calories you're burning correctly, so it asks you to put your weight in. You can set it to whatever you want, but you know, if you want the calorie burn to be more accurate, more accurate. That's in quotes because like <laughs> treadmills and other exercise machines infamously overestimate how many calories you've actually burned. Like, after a 20-minute uh, thing on the walk-run cycle, it'll say I've burned, like, 140. Which may or may not be true, but it kind of feels accurate. I don't know. Running burns a lot of calories. Makes you sweat a lot, too. It's gross. It's gross nasty. Anyway, my stomach is grumbling. I gotta eat something. I'm going to do the classic streamer thing and order food in the middle of my live stream. No, I'm not going to do that. Why are all the streamers ordering Uber Eats in the middle of their streams? You don't have enough clout for that. Time for a mukbang? No. A mukbang of garlic knots, uh, maple-style baked beans, pulled pork, cheese bread salt and vinegar hickory sticks and peach ice cream I was so excited to see peach ice cream at the grocery store it's even got little peach chunks in it so fun what kind of beans? maple style baked beans, Heinz they come in a can My stomach was making the rumblies that only hands could satisfy. Yeah, maple. Maple syrup. Look it up. Heinz maple beans. Canadian head ass, they're delicious. They don't... I mean, they have a generic version too, it's just the Heinz was on sale. No idea what any of those... You don't know what pulled pork is? Don't lie to me. Do you watch a three hour long Batman movie? You're gonna have to be way more specific. You know what you know what cheese bread is? Like baked beans. These are things people know about. I might put in some crispy fried onions. The Robert Pattinson one? No. I don't watch movies. I have so many notifications in Nightbringer, I should probably play that. Maple pears with a lot more food than one would expect? Of course! I was like, when I was like into my cooking phase, I was like, I'm gonna make uh, pork. Just regular pork, like a pork, like a cut of pork. And then you put some maple beans on it. Very tasty. Except for the pork. Pork isn't very tasty. But I'll eat it. Pulled pork, though. That's tasty. Also gives me nightmares. Particularly about cannibalism. I don't know what it is about pulled pork, but it makes me dream about eating people. It's scary. 
but I'm not going to stop eating it because I really like pulled pork. Your earphones butchered it badly? Okay, well, at least you know what cheese bread is. Vor? No, it's not bo It's not vor. I'm... They're not whole. Take bites out of them. Anyway, I've said too much, and now you guys know that I'm a freak that has nightmares after eating pulled pork, so... People do taste most similar to pork. That's not true. It tastes closest to veal. Or not. I don't know. I just watched the v Vsauce video about it. Whatever. Maybe you should th see a therapist about that. Hey, man. I can't control what my dreams do. Nobody can. All right? It's not my fault. Telling the aunties, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. They'll think I'm a freak. Oh, wait, they already do. Whatever. How do you know that? I mean, your dreams are just dreams. They don't mean anything. It's probably just a coincidence. <laughs> Democratic typo. Heard of worst nightmares? Yeah, last night, like, well, actually, kind of this morning, I, w I fell back asleep, and then I had a nightmare that I was being chased around by a guy with a sword. It wasn't fun. I had to do that thing where I was jumping over fences, and I didn't even get, like, the dream ability where you can, like, float or fly. It was bullshit. Had a nightmare about me once? What did I do? Dox you? Response to you saying that human flesh tastes more like veal than pork. It was in the Vsauce video. What does human taste like? It's ancient, but it's still up there. I'm not crazy. The guy said veal. I think. Whatever. Any chase dreams suck, and I have them so often. Pat a husky and shoplifters in board games. You should shoplift better things. Unless it's like expensive board games. Anyway. I need to wrap things up. My stomach is making the rumblies that perhaps only pulled pork will satisfy. No, I gotta finish those beans. They're gonna go bad. Anyway. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to everybody who donated uh, real faker memberships because now we get the new emo slot. It's really cool. We're funky, fresh, and awesome. And uh, thank you to everybody who donated uh, money. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, uh, Pixel G. Uh, your uh, your 99 hasn't uh, gone away yet, but thank you. Um, yeah, so thank you to everybody. And I'm going to go eat something. Uh, so we will say, yeah, and goodbye.